Hi guys, I've literally just come back from the airport. I've been away for a week. Gotta get rid of the Christmas tree still because we left it here when we were left. Um, we left it here when we left, if that makes sense. Oh my God. I have been looking at the papers um, since we've been gone and seen all the reactions to Spare Harry's book. It's just, it's just, it's just like, where my lids stop, you know? Um, I'm just gonna have a look into his energy right now, now it's been released. How is Harry feeling? Now this has all come out. How is Harry feeling? How is Harry feeling? I know William doesn't really want to say anything as such because it's pretty much like arguing with a five-year-old, literally having a tantrum. I hate to say it, but it is. And if William fights back in defence about, you know, if Harry says, well, Meghan didn't do this, actually, it was William, and William started saying, well, actually, it was your wife. It, 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 I think they're worried... Um, grenades, hand grenades, I hear hand grenades. They're worried that if they try and fight this back too much, is he going to throw even more hand grenades at them? And they just want it to stop. They want it to, I'm hearing die down. They want it to die down. They want it to die down. They want it to die down. That's why they're not really answering back. And the words that are coming out, by the way, are, again, I hear little birds. So obviously there are people that know William, Kate, the family that will, you know, try and get their side across without William and Kate or anyone having to say it themselves. You know, I'm hearing decorum, decorum. That's what they're trying to have at the moment. It's in the royal family, which is not happening on the other side. Right, Harry, Harry, Harry. How are you feeling now this has come out? I mean, it, even I'm blown away by it. The, the, oh, God. That's not a good sign because, again, that means his energy is moving away. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. Oh, he's still not going to be happy. He's still not going to be happy. He, even if he pretends to be, he's not going to be happy. The Six of Swords is pretty much... He's moving away from the royal family, which is pretty bloody obvious after everything that's just come out in the book Spare, okay? He's moving away from the royal family because he feels judged by them. He feels judged by people in the UK. Um, the Empress means he just wants to turn everything around. He... He was hoping it would get his side across, and but, but it seems more like he's coming across as a victim in a time where a lot of the people in the UK and around the world, but especially the UK, for example, are struggling with just trying to heat their homes. And it's like he he's dropping these bombs from his mansion in, in California. You know what I mean? It's just like you, the people, I think the people are sick of it. The people are sick of it, you know. He's he's still up in arms. I keep hearing he's up in arms about... So the Seven of Swords is up in arms and lies in deceits here. And what I feel is going to continue to go on is the palace are going to come out with some not official statements, like I said, little birds, people that kind of will get the word out about what really happened behind the scenes. So these little things are going to come out rather than Kate or William themselves. And that's what's going to set him on fire. And that's what's going to... Um, Again, tit for tat. So somebody could be a friend, like an insider. There you go. They'd be like, oh, a, a royal insider, we'll say. And Harry's going to be fighting back more about these people than anyone else, you know. It, it, I don't feel William and Kate are just going to all, all, you know, I kept hearing the word decorum. I feel they're trying to keep decorum. They're not going to just all of a sudden start battling with him because it is like having an argument with someone that's having a tantrum. That It's just not going to work. It's not going to work. Communication's completely broken down. I hear stay stum, just stay quiet. And Harry, I mean, we've got the world, which means it's almost like he felt like, like I said before, this is going to be a release for him. By writing this book, it's a release. He can get everything out of the way. But I'm hearing, if anything, it's opening up a can of worms. And now he's going to have to defend every single thing in that book, you know, about um, to do with the, the amount of killings, you know, the, tw the number 25. He's literally going to have to defend everything he said now. So it's actually opened up a can of worms rather than clearing anything up for him. So we have the world, which is almost like him thinking, you know, in the future, you know, I, I feel they're going to try and show stability. We got the Hierophant, which means strong foundations, a family unit. But then we still have, it does remind me of, um, you know, Wallace. Oh my God, how can I even go completely blank here about the, the king? 
um it's almost like they you know prince harry is trying to act like he's happy in his new life and he's happy to left the royal family and he's got this stability in his family right now and the world is a brand new chapter for them opening up but it's still the end result is the four of cups which is sadness looking back not happy with what he's got he's just not going to be happy he's not going to be happy with what he's got i don't feel this is a release for him you know he in a way it's therapeutic that he wrote it but it's going to be torn apart. It's going to be torn apart and he's going to have to feel like he's going to have to constantly defend it. And I hear he's going to be in defence mode for some time now, defending what he's written. It's just unleashed. I just hear unleashed. It's like unleashed so much. Right. Oh my God. Let's see. Um, how is Harry and Meghan's connection going to be in the coming months after all this? How is their connection going to be after all this coming out? Oh. Well, straight away I heard tense, which is pretty obvious. I even think for William and Kate it's going to be tense because she's going to be trying to pacify him and, you know, because the anger he will have. Um, it's going to be tense for both of them, to be honest. How is their relationship going to be? Still trying to look ahead at, oh God, no. Every time I bloody read for these guys, I get the devil. Every time. Doesn't mean Satan or anything like that, guys, okay? It doesn't. It means temptations, addictions. And every time this card comes up, it's usually with business with them. So we do have the payoff there. That's the big payoff for the book, obviously. It's almost like the hard work's been put in. They've got the money for it. Now they're looking at new opportunities here, okay? New opportunities to make money after this book. What are they going to do next? And then we have the Queen of Wands, which is a very creative female character. And I do feel this is linked to Megan again, as in she's the one kind of controlling the narrative, as in also what business opportunities they are going to do. So she holds more sway over things than he does. She's got more power in that respect. And then we keep going back to the devil, which means because of this, it's going to be making money for the wrong reasons. So um, it it's not it's it's almost like it's been everything's been a bit tainted. Everything's tainted now. Everything's been tainted now in a way. And it's going to be very hard to make money after that in a in a pure way, unless they're using it to talk about the royal family more and their experiences. That's the way they're going to be making money. Um, it. it oh god 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 i don't know what to say please tell me so we have making money for the wrong reasons oh oh okay it's a bit juicy making money for the wrong reasons but then we have the ace of swords now i was going to say an epiphany okay this is a new way of thinking a brand new mental way of thinking for harry and I didn't tell you then because I thought, oh, my God, is it going to get worse? Um, now, interestingly, the new way of him thinking after all these money making schemes linked to the devil, you know, not do, making money for the right reasons, reasons he won't be happy with himself in the long term. I think it's just going to wear him down. And then we have the lovers, which I do feel is Megan. And then we have the seven of wands, which is him almost blocking it and saying almost like enough's enough. Um I, I want to do something new. I don't want to do this anymore. But I still feel she's going to be on attack mode a little bit. Um, and then we have the hangman, which is him starting to let go of the connection. Not be so involved in it, not be so enamored with it, because it's just, a, but he's got, I mean, look, this is pretty much him. It's going to get to a stage where it's almost like I'm hearing I don't want to talk about my family anymore. You know, it's almost like he's over it. He will just want to go on to new things and new opportunities. I feel she's going to dwell on it more about, I'm hearing the word mistreatment. Um, oh, God. And then again, the five of pentacles, guys. Whenever I usually do this on a, a reading for a couple, um, it almost means like she's lost her allure and he's lost his allure. And she wants him to man up a bit more. And it's almost like the affection is going. Dwindling affection there dwindling affection putting up a wall saying no i'm not doing this anymore the hangman is him letting go more and after he lets go more it's like the affection is going to start to die down i don't know if you can hear that car outside but it's really really annoying 
I, I just, or every time I read for them, I get the devil, basically. I don't mean it like that. I know that sounds like, you know, I, I can't stand them. I really can't stand them. I hate them. It's not like that. It's just the devil means you are doing things for the wrong reasons, you know. You're doing th things for the wrong reasons. It can be an addiction that's not good for you, okay. And I still feel that when it comes to money. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Um... I, I'm just going to leave it there, guys. Sorry, I'm tired from travelling. I can't even get my head around it. It's, I, I'm just, I just can't get my head around it all. Coming back from, from holiday and seeing all this in the paper, but I do want to read his book. I know there's so many people that's, that's saying, "Oh, I'm not going to read that." There's no way I'm going to read his book. But I would like. I always like to get two sides of a story. Okay, I always want to see the other side as well. So at some point, I will actually read his book also helps me to read as well because I can pick up his emotions on a certain area of it or I can't explain it it's just it helps with my intuition as well so I do want to read his book at some point and I'm leaving it there guys I'm gonna go to bed I'm absolutely knackered um but I will check in on this again soon for sure okay good night all